At times, members may participate in selective obedience, claiming to love God and honoring God while picking and choosing which of His commandments and teachings and the teachings and counsels of His prophets we will fully follow. Some obey selectively because they cannot perceive all the reasons for a commandment. Using our agency to obey means choosing to do what is right. In the premortal existence, ours was not a selective obedience. We did not pick and choose which part of the eternal plan we were going to follow. I learned that lesson on our first night flying solo in pilot training when all of us were given the instruction, don't fly acrobatic patterns at night. You are beginning pilots without instrument flight training. Sometime later, an otherwise good pilot and a great friend chose to disobey that commandment. As he flew loops and barrel rolls through the night sky over Texas, he looked through the cockpit canopy and thought he star saw the stars above him, but he was really seeing the lights of the oil rigs below. He was experiencing vertigo. The G-forces on his plane made it seem like he was right side up, yet he was upside down. As he pulled on the stick to climb higher into the night sky, he dove towards the earth and crashed into the twinkling lights of the oil field below. When flying an airplane, if you change your position by just one degree at a time, your inner ear cannot detect the change. Brethren, young and old, when we practice selective obedience, we change our position relative to the Lord, and usually by only one degree at a time. For example, through the prophet Samuel, the Lord gave a clear commandment to King Saul but Saul did not follow the Lord's commandment. He practiced what I call selective obedience. Saul excused himself by blaming others. The prophet's answer was clear. Hath the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice. 